God isn't looking for mindless devotion devoid of emotion. He wants you to appeal to His goodness and boldly come before Him. Our God is a good Father who wants to show you His ways. Are you going to ask big things of God like Moses did? Moses came to meet with God once again. He came with a boldness Jacob once did on that lonely hill wrestling with God, clinging to Him and imploring Him for blessing. How many times have you told me that I have found favor in your sight, Moses asked. If I have truly found favor in your sight, please show me your ways. Welcome to the Heartbeat of Faith podcast. I'm Dr. Andrew Farley, and it's a joy to be with you today as we explore powerful prayers from the Bible. The Bible's filled with prayers expressed to God by a variety of people. The story of Scripture showcases the prayers of kings, shepherds, prophets, and beggars, all desiring communication with God. Today, we survey a profound and intimate moment between Moses and God. Israel was at risk of losing God's blessing. He told the nation of Israel that he would not follow them into the promised land because of their disobedience. Moses interceded on their behalf, but the prayer turned into much more as Moses grew bolder before God. Moses spoke with intensity, for the thought of God not going with them to the promised land frightened him. Moses continued his case before God, saying, Please, God, consider your nation, your people. If your presence does not go with us, the promised land means nothing. The only thing that makes us a nation and a people is your presence. God did not answer with rage or match Moses' intensity. Rather, he answered gently and said, My presence will go with you, and I will give you all rest. I will do this for you, for you have found favor in my sight. I know you by name, Moses. Moses crumbled before God. His heart melted at hearing God's words. He looked up to God with his eyes foggy from tears. Show me your glory, Moses whispered. Moses appealed to God's goodness and begged him to remain with his people. God responded to Moses' humble heart with tenderness. Moses wasn't prideful before God, but he was bold. He knew God's character and appealed to him based on his big heart for Israel. The more intimately we know God's goodness, the more courageous we seem to become in prayer. The better we know his word and his ways, the more confident we are in talking with him. Listen to the words of Jesus in Matthew 7. Jesus was encouraging his Jewish audience to ask and seek and knock. He assured them that God would respond. Notice that Jesus said even they, who were evil, they knew how to give good gifts to their children. Jesus was speaking to those who had evil hearts, the unregenerate, the lost, the spiritually dead, who still needed new life from him. Imagine what Jesus would say to us today on the same topic. How much more should we as new creations, children of God, holy and righteous, feel the confidence to talk to God openly and boldly ask for the desires of our new hearts? Ask, and it will be given you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and it will be opened for you. For everyone who asks receives. He who seeks finds. To him who knocks it will be opened. Or who is there among you who, if his son asks him for bread, will give him a stone? Or if he asks for a fish, who will give him a serpent? If you then, being evil, know how to give good gifts to your children, How much more will your Father who is in heaven give good things to those who ask Him? 
Therefore, whatever you desire for men to do to you, you shall also do to them. For this is the law and the prophets. Matthew 7, 7 through 12. Remember, even Moses was not afraid to seek God and make bold requests. He wanted to see the Lord's glory on display, and God obliged. God said to Moses, I will show you my goodness and have it pass before you, but you cannot see my face, for no man can see my face and live. So God placed Moses in a cleft between two rocks, and God, in his glory, passed by Moses, and he could see his back pass by. For a brief moment, Moses was able to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord. A small sliver of eternity glowed before Moses, the maker of the cosmos, the destroyer of stars, and the shepherd of humanity revealed a part of himself to Moses. The true beauty was in God's restoration of his covenant with Israel. Again, he wrote on the stone tablets his commandments and promises to his children. He would go before them, walk with them, and be their strength and shelter. Moses understood God's power, glory, and goodness. So he asked for big things. We rob ourselves of an opportunity when we carry around a small view of God. As another Old Testament example, Elijah knew the greatness of God, and he called upon him for great things. The whole area was silent, listening in on Elijah's prayers to God. Lord, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Prove yourself today. Answer me and answer these people. Make them understand your deliverance. As Elijah was speaking, a great flash of lightning fell down from heaven. The altar erupted into flames, sending ash and debris flying into the air. The offering, the wood, and the stones were ground into a powder, and the water evaporated into the intense heat of the flames. God isn't looking for mindless devotion devoid of emotion. He wants you to appeal to His goodness and boldly request of Him. We've just seen individuals in the Old Testament who beheld the vastness of God, and they dared to ask for the profound and transformative. Just like these individuals, we too have the invitation to allow God to reveal the immensity of His love and grace. In Ephesians 3, Paul prayed for the Ephesians to comprehend the vastness of God's love. This prayer is just as relevant for us today. Have you asked God to reveal His great love to you? It's a prayer that aligns with God's heart and he promises to answer it. In 1 Corinthians 2.12, we're reminded that as believers, we've received the Spirit of God, who helps us understand the incredible gifts freely given to us by God. God wants you to know what he's given you. Did you know you've been blessed with every spiritual blessing? Did you know you've been given God's glory? It's true. In John 17, Jesus prayed for the Father to share His glory with us so that we would be one with Him, just as Jesus is one with the Father. This is the magnitude of what God has already done for you. There's no need to beg or plead for His blessings. God has already lavished His love and grace upon you. So, what if you prayed a prayer similar to Paul's prayer for the Ephesians? What if you asked God to show you His great love and reveal Himself and all He's given to you? God desires nothing more than for you to see His heart, His grace, His forgiveness, and His life within you. He wants you to fully grasp the extent of His goodness. So, Go ahead and pray boldly, asking God to show you His great love and goodness. Maybe something like, Lord, reveal to me the fullness of your love. I believe in your goodness. 
Show me the depths of your great love. Such a heartfelt plea aligns with God's desire for you, as He wants nothing more than to show you the blessings and glory already given to you when you were born of His Spirit. Thank you for listening to today's episode of the Heartbeat of Faith podcast. If you enjoyed today's episode or learned something new about the Bible, share it with a friend or family member. Download the Pray.com app, and for more encouragement in God's grace, visit andrewfarley.org. That's andrewfarley.org. America's federal debt just reached $33 trillion, and many economists predict the weight of this crippling debt load will soon topple the whole financial system. Concerned Americans are diversifying their assets into physical gold with the help of Birch Gold Group. If you want a physical asset held in a tax-sheltered retirement account, you should call Birch Gold too. But learn for yourself. Text the word HEARTBEAT to 989898 and they'll send you a free info kit on gold. If you have an IRA or a 401k from a previous employer just gathering dust, Birch Gold can help you convert it into an IRA in gold, and you don't have to pay a penny out of pocket. Text HEARTBEAT to the number 989898 to claim your free info kit on gold. There's no cost or obligation, so do it now. Text HEARTBEAT to 989898.